My name is Donna Ititapa, and today we are doing the modern version of removing the deer toes to make deer toe shakers. First step is to build a fire and ensure that it's hot enough to uh, boil water. It only takes 15 to 20 minutes for the water to get boiling to the correct temperature to add the deer leg. The next step is to put in the deer legs and I normally put in five to six deer legs and the fresh ones will take two to three minutes to boil and frozen ones could take up to six minutes and then we will check them to see if they're ready. When you check to see if they're ready, check the area in between the hoof and the fur to see if it's this grayish white tint and once it's this color, it should be easily removed. We're gonna take off the dew cloths first and you take your pliers, wrap it around there and you twist and turn. And then we'll do the second one. And then we'll go to the hoof. You twist and turn. And twist and turn. The next step is to trim. And so we're going to trim the pad and all the white area on the, the deer toe. And I'm going to take some wire cutters to trim that off. The next step is to clean the deer toe and I use a Dremel because it has different accessories to where you can get inside to get rid of the cartilage. Trim the top or smooth it out and then I um, take the tool and place it on the inside to clean it out and try to get as much out as possible. The next step after cleaning the inside of the hoof is to drill the hole. So I just take a drill and place it um, on the bottom of the deer toe. And then you have your hoe placed in the bottom of the hoof. And this is where the leather is going to go through for attaching. The next step is to prepare your leather. The pattern I prefer is wider on the top and it tapers down to fit around your leg. I then take a ruler and measure about an inch and a half down from my first row. I then take a pin and draw my first line. The second step that I do, I measure around two inches for my second line. I prefer to have at least five guidelines for my rows. Once I do that, I take my ruler and place it over the line that's drawn across. And this is to set to where I'm going to attach the deer toes. I make my lines about an inch apart. And that guides me on where to make my cuts. Once I have those drawn out on the leather, I take the ruler and make the guides for the other line. So they're going to be even. I um, actually cut the leather with a sharp knife. The hole has to be large enough that your leather string it's going to be able to fit through. The final step is to take the deer toe and run one end of the string leather through it and then tie a knot. I normally pull it through to hide the knot. Then you take the string and run it through the first hole. So it goes through the front or through the back and comes back through the front as so. I then take a second deer toe and run the string through it and tie a knot. And that attaches your deer toes to your leather. You continue to do this through the hose that you've cut in the leather. Once the leather is completely covered, you will have a nice set 
of deer toe shakers. Now I'm going to put them on. Now that I have my deer toe shakers on, I'd be ready to dance. I love the way the deer toe shakers create their own unique rhythmic sound, which I'm going to demonstrate for you now. I hope you enjoy learning how to make deer toe shakers. Have fun creating your own. Chapisa la cho.